Hello, everyone. Welcome to the fourth round of Book Clubs Across Borders, uh, the first session for this new year. So, Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, today's session is between Narkana and Apartheid from Afghanistan in Nagman. The book that we'll be discussing is In Other Dreams and Other Wonders, uh, written by Daniel Moyudi. Daniel Moyudin itself is a young Pakistani American based author who writes this book, a non fiction book uh, about his about people in Pakistan, about the power structure in Pakistan, the social polarization that we see. And these stories are somewhat a reflection of what he saw while growing up in Pakistan, in his father, who was, who was a government servant and landlord, and how he saw the world over there. So, sure, sure, Lagman, you can take a few seconds. Um, when, whenever we're ready, we'll start with that. Ms. Satara, are we ready from Larka? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you perfectly. Yes, thank you for joining. Uh, really glad to join you and glad to see you. And as you know that it is late and we uh, face with uh, pro uh, connection problem and we had this problem in uh, sorry for coming late. And... It's all right. It's all right. We can understand that uh, we can connected virtually, so there are certain times there are technical problems. Yes, thank you. This is Bohan Malkin from LLC of Lagman, and we're uh, seeing you from LLC of Lagman. So, so uh, I cannot see you. Can you? You camera so that I can see it. It means that you do not see us. Yeah. Us. Maybe, maybe. You you know that you see the students who are sitting on the chairs. You see the participants now. Yeah, I see the participants now. Yeah, I see it. I see them. But you didn't see the leader. It Perfect. Means yeah, I couldn't see the first uh, you while you're speaking. So yes, maybe yes, we, will, we will solve it. Uh, yeah. I can see you. Uh, we can start off with our conversation. Yes, now who is ready? Uh, Larkana? We have uh, lots of participants that uh, they have uh, these technical books. issues and as we Some of them read the book and they wanted to um, say the basic, uh, basic things of their book in house. They have uh, collected information from that book, and uh, I, I will invite one person that he will say he will say the best points of the book, and we will give chance him to talk here in the face of you, and you will see. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. So let's start with Lagman, and uh, let's hear from our participants from Lagman. The what they, uh, how was the experience for reading the book, and what were the messages yes, that they yes, learned? Yes, yes. So over to you, minute, you will see, he will come. Who is ready to say uh, information about this book? Who is ready? How about you? Do you ready? Wait. Are you ready? You are not ready. Come here, Wahid. Wahid Sadat. Yes, say something about this that you, that we got this book for you and you can join the information with this. You can stand here, okay? You, you stand here, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, sir. I uh, sorry, you. sorry, Le 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 I can you go a bit uh, further back in the frame so that I can see you? Uh, right now, I can hear you perfectly, but I cannot see your face. You can go there and. Yeah, you can just stand in front of the camera, man. Yeah, I can see you, you now. Perfect. Yes. Yes, Bohan, Bohan, you can say down. Yes, yes. Do you hear that the first pins of sounds? I can hear your sound correctly, but I cannot hear the participant sound. So maybe you can give him the mic or whatever you're speaking to, or maybe he can take off the mask while he's speaking so his voice is more clear. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Perfect. Okay, sir. 
already appeared uh, the uh, instrument bullet applied uh, in the late duty and uh, uh, I have already involved the uh, history of uh, the world. Uh, Lagman, I'm sorry, I, I lost your voice. I'm not able to hear you correctly. Can you loud little? If you can, if you can say loud little. Uh, can you hear me now? No, no, it is. Yeah. Oh, it is on. Yes, it is, on. Is, yeah, it is. It is on. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, I can say this book is a really uh, a series of stories. Uh, series. Series of uh, in the command series uh, of life uh, in the day. Uh, I have read many books uh, dealing with this uh, area of work. Structure of rich country and for many of its people. Well, the many of uh, the tourists do not uh, present a positive view of life. Relax. Then, one family commands the by reading in different ways. They were blind. I highly recommend anyone, anyone. Uh, anyone interested in face? Uh, so, thank you, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us about the book. Uh, it, it was, was there any you was got from that book? It was really interesting information about that book. Wonderful, wonderful. So I just wanted to ask uh, if there any particular story in the book that they really liked and that they would really want to talk about a story that really hit them like uh, there were stories about now uh, so what what was the one particular story that they liked and they were uh, able to relate with uh, Ladman, were you able to hear my question i was asking that was there a particular story that the students in afghanistan liked and a story that they were able to relate with. What 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 is your mean that to uh, uh, another perspective? So also, will say the uh, yeah. So I was asking, was there a particular story? Because uh, uh, in another room, other wonders is a collection of short stories which all revolve around this main person, KK KK Haruni, uh, and the people who are working in his estate. So there are stories about Nawabuddin, the electrician, and then there are stories uh, which follow characters that come along in their life. So is there a particular story that they like and they would like to talk about? Yes, who is ready to talk about one story that is specific? Yes, what about you? Are we ready? Just yes, say something about it. You are not ready. Just yes, say something about that. Uh, who, who is ready? There is no right and wrong. There is no right and wrong answer. Uh, you, we, we can just, we just wanted to hear their thoughts on it. So there's no right and answer. You can say whatever you feel like. How did you feel like while reading the book? Uh, was there a message that you got from the book? The message, yes. Uh, uh, any, uh, uh, from first thing, uh, anyone wanted to come here and say something about uh, that book, okay? Yes, I will invite him to come here and say something about that book. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yes, turn here and say something that book. Don't worry, you can Hello to everybody. Welcome to all your 
I invite the Laka from this book, which uh, Nancy's in the other other bundle. It is a collection of stories, theoretical hard pleasure story. There are there are also related stories. There is the different parts of stories like start funny project, and also I did uh, I did memorize a uh, story is a story, but uh, now I forgot it. Uh, I didn't uh, say to you no, I forgot it. Yes, it was information that he told us. And uh, do, you, do you also want to say something about the book? What? You, you want to say something about the book? What to say? I don't know. What but where? I don't have, I have not read the book. I don't have more information. Uh, Wonderful, wonderful. So we would just like to hear the views of our participants from Larkana, how did they find the book and what were the messages that they learned from the book? This book, you will hear from what they, what they have gained from this book and they will share with us and we will see, okay? Sure, sure, Ma, sure. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like our participants in Larka are facing some technical issues with the internet. So coming back to Lagman and coming back to what uh, was earlier shared by a participant over there, where he talks, where he explained the book and how he found the book, and he found the stories in the book to be very tragic. And they are. Most of the stories that we talk about are very, oh, are some, uh, is a side of reality that we mostly don't really want to see and don't really want to acknowledge. So I just want to talk about, about the first story that we see about Nawabuddin, the electrician, who himself uh, is somewhat, while reading the book, while reading his chapter, I felt like he was not really truly ethical in all his practices. But he had this perception about him that what he was doing was right. And uh, even though he was committing uh, certain crimes, certain types of crimes for his uh, for his patron, which was Mr. KK Haruni, and he was providing uh, an illegal connection, uh, electricity connection for uh, for the farms of Mr. Haruni, but he did not consider that to be an ill and that to be something wrong. So while reading the story, what was the view of our participants? How did they feel? Uh, uh, how could they could they relate to what Mr. Nawabuddin was doing, and uh, or were they what was their impression on it? So yeah, anybody from Rahman would like to talk about the first story, Nawabuddin the electrician. Khalilullah, could you hear my question? I was directing this question towards uh, Admon. Khalilullah? I would like to uh, add something, uh, uh, and I want to add something about Nawabuddin that I, uh, I read in this book that. Uh, Nawabuddin was uh, the main character in, in, in the first story uh, that uh, he, uh, uh, as a hero, he, uh, uh, he was, uh, uh, sorry, let me. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. 
You can take your time. Yeah, he was an illustration uh, actually, and uh, uh, he, uh, uh, someone was uh, robbing something from a hospital, and uh, he uh, survived himself and killed the robber, I think, and uh, he was the hero of one of the stories, probably. So yes, that's uh, rightly said. So Nawab, the story of Nawabuddin, the electrician, goes around the line that he was an electrician who worked at the farms of this uh, patron, KK Haruni, who was a big landlord. Uh, he used to provide this. Uh, he used to provide the electricity that would come to the tube wells to run the irrigation system in the farms. And one fine day, while Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nawabuddin was going to his uh, from work to home he was going back to home and he was stopped by a stranger on the road uh, who asked for a lift and on you usually mr nawabuddin would have not really given him a lift but that day he was feeling like it so he gave him a lift and while he was traveling with him the the stranger who he gave the lift turned out to be a robber and he tried to rob him and shot him in the leg uh, but Nawabuddin managed to escape and the bike fell and they both were admitted to the hospital. And in the hospital, uh, the although Nawabuddin was there and Nawabuddin understood and the, guy, and the guy who shot him pleaded for uh, forgiveness and pleaded that he that Nawabuddin forgive him so that he can go to heaven. Uh, but Nawabuddin uh, strictly refused to forgive him because he had say, stating that if he would have uh, shot him, his family would have died, and he was not considering just for a few money. He was about to kill this guy, so uh, he refuses to forgive him. Uh, now, the message that what I got from the story was uh, there was a hint of hypocrisy in all of it, because, like I said earlier, Nawabuddin himself used to uh, steal electricity, like get an illegal connection of electricity so that the few wells in, in his uh, patron's land could run and function and irrigate the fields. And he did not consider that to be an ill. However, uh, an ill which was considered, uh, which was uh, conducted against him, he was so strictly against it and he had, he had a whole this different perspective towards it. And that kind of uh, depicts the hypocrisy that we see in our society day and day where we don't really reflect on the actions that we do in, uh, in our day-to-day -day life. Or uh, maybe we might not be ethical in certain dealings professionally or personally, uh, but we do not consider that to be a gross of crime as we consider a crime which is conducted against us. So how do you guys feel while reading the book uh, about the hypocrisy that we see in our society uh, where certain aspects uh, are considered to be right only when we are doing it and when we are benefit, benefiting from them because uh, the, there was no much difference between what Nawabuddin was doing and what the robber was doing because the robber was trying to rob him and Nawabuddin was robbing the government for, for electricity so that his patron could benefit and so because his patron would be, uh, was showering with certain uh, gifts like he, he he had a bicycle that he ride it along the field. He considered his patron to be a very good guy, uh, although he was asking him to steal. But this robber who was trying to steal because he had no money and he wanted to live, uh, uh, Nawabuddin has a very different perspective towards him. So, what do you guys think? Uh, do you feel that there is a sense of hypocrisy in your society where people do one thing and then they tell? the other person uh, in my opinion uh, yes uh, there are there are, uh, are you there are a lot of similarities in Pakistan culture in uh, also people so yeah here in Afghanistan uh, the, the people do illegal things but at the same time uh, at the same time uh, they do illegal things like that is a stealing connection from the uh, electricity or things like that. Uh, even harassing people on the streets or things like this. But actually, they are not that bad people. Actually, they have uh, they are heroes, hidden heroes that in 
in in in some in some situations they they work for for the betterment of the community as well. That's a, that's a very nice perspective and a very different perspective to what I was getting at. But I really like how you said they are not uh, they are not uh, bad people and they are doing that to provide to create a better situation and better. Yeah, uh, that, that makes me bring that brings me to discuss this topic yeah. where we see. Yes, yes. Go on, please. Please go on. Okay. So, thank you so much for your thoughts and thank you so much for sharing uh, your opinion about it. One one of the striking things that we see in, uh, in other rooms and other wonders is a, a very, very striking disparity of wealth between the patron, KK Haruni, and his that the electrician be just person. But we see that he, Mr. Haruni, is not really just with his, in his dealing. Like right? he was the last bit of the story. They are who basically come and work on, uh, on the fields of this, on the of Mr. Harumi's wife, and then he lost, he loses his wife, his wife uh, leaves his home, and then he tries to use the connections of Mr. Harumi to get some information where his wife must have gone. But then the, later on, those connections turn around on him and try to haunt. So, but even then, he rather than blaming Mr. Haruni, he blames himself. He blames that maybe this is what was supposed to happen to me. And, and better than what I already had. So we see this, this thought of uh, construction of thought where the lower class of the society and the lower in income uh, people of the society, they don't really blame the patron in KK Haruni for what is happening and consider him to be very just, even though while reading about the, in the book, we saw that they are not really just. So how do you guys feel about it? How do our friends in Afghanistan feel about it? And do this thing, uh, this whole system of uh, patron exist in Afghanistan as well? Yes, I will say, generally about this book about like KKK Haruni, okay? Sure. Yes, KKK Haruni is one of the central characters in the short story, which uh, learns his name in the book. And other rooms, other wonders. This is the story of servant girl, Hosanna, who becomes Haruni's mistress, but who after his death is treated as badly by his family, as Zainab was treated, as Zainab was treated by uh, Jaglanis. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> no. <laughs> I heard. I heard what you said. I was just waiting for you to finish it. So I was. I was thinking that you you're gonna add up to that. But I really agree with uh, this mistress and how the entire uh, product happens. So the stating on the same point, how do you feel? As a just person, do you feel that he was a just person? Reading the book, that he was an honest and a just person. Can I repeat my question? We didn't uh, get your name. Thank you. 
Uh, okay, so I was saying, I was asking. So, sorry for that. Sorry for that, everyone. Uh, uh, my internet got disconnected. So, sorry for that interruption. Uh, he is uh, recorded in the book. I will come to now to Larkana. Uh, uh, if all, uh, our friends in Larkana are with us, uh, Ma'am Sitara, can you hear us? Uh, Ma'am Sitara, if you can hear us, please acknowledge. I feel like they're still suffering from an internet problem. I'm hoping that they'll be able to resolve this. So, yeah, coming back to our friends in Lagman. Coming back to our friends in Lagman. Uh, building upon the, upon the thought that we were having a discussion earlier, Oh, okay. So Larkana is with us. Larkana, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Uh, Lagman, can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Yes, you are audible. Disha, you are audible. Uh, Sitara Abu is connected. Okay, 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 great. Okay, uh, Larkana, can you hear us? So, okay, great. So, my, so I just wanted to know, uh, would like to know about how did you find the book? How did you, how's the experience of reading the book? And what were the messages that you learned from the book? Password yet the way. Hello, I am Jamila. I stayed in class. Sir, आवाज आ रही है आपको? जी ma'am, जी ma'am, I can completely hear. I can completely hear them. Uh, I was just asking them how was their experience of reading the book and what was the message they learned from it. Email आए password password. Larkana, can you hear us? Yeah. 
Yes, Juvia. Paris please, double one double. Two. Please go on. Tell me how. Tell me how do you find the book? Paris double one double two. Okay, let's let's come back. I think they cannot hear me. I am Jamila. I study. I am Jamila. I study in class five. My school name is Shabir Education House, Lankana. First of all, I tell about the book. This study guide consists of paper max three sixteen page of chapter sixteen page of chapter summaries quarters. Character analysis, themes, themes, and more. Everything you need to sharpen your knowledge in other rooms, other wonders. So, how did you find the book? What was what was the stories that you liked in the book? Did you like this? Did you enjoy the story of Nawabuddin and the electrician? Did you like the story of Nawabuddin the electrician? First, the topic. What is the topic? First, can you? Any Nawabuddin? Can you? इंटरप्शन आई थिंक आर फ्रेंड्स इन लाना प्रॉब्लम uh let's continue the conversation from there so like bam we were talking about mr haruni and how he, how or uh, how he was regarded as a as a very just person by the characters in the book so i want what i'm interested to know about uh, in a, are are there do you find these type of landlords and these types of uh people who control a very large proportion of so i'm sure there are certain cuz again has like pakistan has a lot of income dis, uh, disparity and disparity in wealth so yeah i would just like to hear your views about how how were you able to relate the character of mr haruni to somebody that you see in your society yes uh, yes first of all we need to a little information about that you should uh, talk about this uh, uh, give us little information and they will find us and they will find question and we will ask from okay. you okay yes we will hear we will hear okay, information okay. so Sure, sure. So the story uh, in other room, other wonders, which is written by Daniel Mohideen, has different different uh, short stories in it. So there's a story of the electrician, and then there's a story about Salima, and then there's a story about another old guy, Riaz, who comes and works uh, land at the farms of Mr. Haruni uh, for her wife, for his wife. So uh, there are certain uh, there are different stories with different uh teams in it but the over overriding theme and overarching theme of the entire book is to talk about the social polarization that we see the uh, this disparity of income that we see uh between Mr Haruni and the people who work for him and the justice the the, the dialogue of justice and injustice 
So like I was saying earlier, there are certain aspects in the book where Mr. Haruni, although who can, who is committing or that are directly and indirectly committing uh, crimes, is considered by his employees as somebody who's very just. So if you look at the first, first story, which is about Nawabuddin, the electrician, the electrician, the story goes like this: where there Nawabuddin, who electrician working on the fields of Mr. Haruni, steals electricity, connects an illegal, has an illegal connection of electricity to fuel and pump the uh, tube wells of Mr. Haruni's land so that they can be irrigated and everything. Now, although Mr. Haruni is asking Nawabuddin to commit a crime to uh, profit from it, Mr. Uh, Nawabuddin does not consider Mr. Haruni as an unjust or an uh, unethical person. However, when Nawabuddin is faced by a robber who shots him and who tries to steal his bicycle, he has a very different uh, perspective about him. And he considers that this guy uh, should not deserve to live and should not deserve to have a dignified life and should not really be deserving to have any sort of redemption. So uh, we see a striking difference between how the, the people, the characters in the book regard Mr. Haruni and how they regard other people who commit injustice against uh, them. So what do you feel about this? What is your opinion about this? How do you, how can you relate to the character of Mr. Haruni? Do you see in your society an individual who you can relate to Mr. Haruni who might be a big landlord who controls a big proportion of wealth in your society and then uh, makes his his patrons, who, his not his patrons, but his subordinates commit crimes and even in the name of doing the right thing. Do you, can you relate with something like that? Lagman. Uh, are trying to say something? Your mic is uh, mute. So you need to unmute your mic to communicate with us. Larkana, if you're trying to say something, you need to unmute your mic. Hayula, were you able to understand my question? Yes, we hear you, but uh, the participants have uh, no uh, question from you. Okay, okay. So I just have a question for them. And I wanted to ask them, how, how do they feel about income, dis, uh, income disparity in Afghanistan? How, and how do they think that this problem can be solved? Where more equal society can be created? Yes, I will, I will say to them, uh, if anyone ready, they, he will come here and he will say. Yes, anyone sure, ready? sure, sure. Here is one first pinch available to say something. Control of 
so that means they control a province and also there is most of person left. country we have a break or we have uh, there are a lot of uh, mm -hmm. country and how many so you can use the rule as how many in the first way that's it so how can you can you just yeah, so I was just asking that how do you how, how do you feel about a class system? Do you see that there is a class system in Afghanistan where there are certain people who are elite and certain people who are very, very, very poor? Is there a situation like that? So in Pakistan, we have a lot of, we have very few uh, proportion of the society who have almost all the wealth. And there are most of the society which has that in Pakistan we have a society we have a structure where there are certain people in the society who have most of the wealth and then there is a very big proportion of the society who have a very little little amount of wealth so I mean 90% of the wealth is with the 10% and 10% uh, uh, of the wealth is with the 90% of the of the population so is is that a similar situation in Afghanistan where some people have most of the wealth and the rest of the people are left with a very little amount of wealth. There are a lot of people in Afghanistan. They speak among the between English and Pashto, they speak, uh, but they are, um, but the Afghans, most Afghans don't know in English language, but uh, I also, there are a lot of Afghans know the English, but some of them don't know in English, but in the future, all Afghans will learn English language, because there are a lot of courses in Afghanistan, they follow courses. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh, let's try to connect with our friends in Larkana and although we are running out of time, uh, let's just have some remarks from Larkana of how they how they read the book and how were they able to learn some messages from it. So, Ma'am Satala, is there a student from your end who would like to talk about the book and tell us about how what lessons did they found from the book? I guess, unfortunately, uh, we are friends in Arkana still facing. Oh, here they are. Larkana, would you like to add uh, something towards the closing remarks? Would you like to say something, Larkana? Larkana, your mic is mute. So you need to unmute the mic to... Your mic is mute, Rita. Your mic is mute. You need to unmute your mic. Unmute the mic. I can't hear you, Larkana. We can't hear you. You need to unmute, unmute your mic. Unmute your mic. Right. Beta, you have to open the mic so that you can hear your voice. Beta, you have to open the mic so that you can hear your voice.
माइक खोलना पड़ेगा बेटा आपने बेटा माइक आई गेस आई गेस ऑल इन ऑल आई थिंक इट वॉज some word of a good session uh, and thank you so much for all of you to join us uh, i hope larkana will be able to overcome their technical issues in the future so that we can connect with them uh, thank you so much uh, everybody for connecting with us and participating in this discussion i hope that you had your books in time and you were able to read them and you will be able to receive your next, uh, the next book for the next month in time and uh, so thank you so much and it's it's a bye bye from my end thank you thank you baby yeah, baby thank you thank you it was fantastic program we had thank you thank you so the next next program we will see soon inshallah